Hi, this is David Finlay, Director of Recording for Master Swimming Queensland. After the State Long Course Championships, there's been a few questions about how the swimmer of the meet is calculated, so I thought I'd produce this video to explain how it's done. So I'm just on the Master Swimming Queensland website here, and we calculate the results through the results portal. So just go to competition results. Then we can go to points. And there's a few settings we need to take to do this. So first of all, we'll calculate the female swimmer of the meet. So we select female, all age groups, long course, national. We go for the top three, all strokes, and then we select the meet. So in this case, this MSQ State Long Course Championships. And we then select the sum of the five best events. Hit show. And now give us a list of all uh, the point scores uh, in each age group, the top three point scorers, based on their best five events. So first of all, we look here, 18 to 24, we had Candace Brown, tw um, 2,604. And we just scroll down the page until we find the person with the highest point score. So then we've got Caroline Saxby, 2,838. Catherine Raywood, uh, 3160. Jackie Goldston, 3431. That's the highest we've seen so far. Keep going, keep going. And then we come to Denise Robertson with 3635. Okay, so 3635 I think is the highest one I've seen there, so I'll just go back up the list just to double check there again. All right, so 3635 was the highest point score. That's Denise Robertson. So that makes her female swimmer of the meet. Now we try for the male one. So again, it's the same process. I just select male, all age groups, long course, national, top three, all strokes, some of the best, five best events, and the correct meet, show. And again, we just go down the list. So uh, first of all, we've got 2533 for Jake Lippiot. Okay, then we've got William Hall, 2555, so that's higher. Okay, now we've got Todd Patrick, 2856, so higher again. Uh, now we've got Mark Thompson, 4467. Okay, so that's still lower. Alright, so it looks like Todd, uh, sorry, it looks like Mark Thompson got that, 4467. I can't see any higher point scores than that. Alright, so that makes Mark Thompson the male swimmer of the meet. Then we have the under 30, 30 to 50 categories and um, over 50 category. So for that we go to mixed. We leave it at all age groups. Again, same settings across all the other details. So let's have a look for the under 30. So we've really only got two age groups in that one, so 18 to 24 and 25 to 29. And straight away we can see here it's Candace Brown on 2604, just beating out Jake Lippiot on 2533, and uh, the others are all below that. So now we need to go to the 30 to 50 age groups. So it's actually 30 to 49. Um, so we've got Carolyn Saxby, 2838, Catherine Rayward, 3160, Jackie Goldston, 3431. And then Mark Thompson's fitting in that 45 to 49 age group, so that makes him uh, the, 40, uh, the 30 to 50 year swim of the meet on 4467. And then we can look at the over 50s. So we just scroll down the over 50s till we find the highest point score. Okay, so that gives us John Cox on 3711. I can't see anyone else with a higher point score than 3711. No, so that makes John Cox the over 50 swimmer of the meet. Now these points aren't the cumulative points that we have for winning an event or coming second or third or whatever place up to 10, 10th place in the actual meet. That's where you get 10 points for first, 9 points for second, 
um, eight points for third. Those points are just um, to, to determine um, the team point score overall, and they're often used at um, inter-club meets. These are what's called FINA points. They're based upon comparing the time that you swim versus a baseline based upon the world record. So they're not the same points. Um, the actual calculation of that is a little bit more complicated to explain, uh, but you can find that via the FINA website. I hope that's explained a bit more about how this works. Thank you.